I'm Dark Shades and um, this channel is like for self-development and it's to do with things that can kind of help you um, understand why people react in a certain way when this could be something that you take for granted. Now the inspiration behind this video is Married at First Sight Australia and I was watching it last night and I noticed how Brent, for those of you who um, are not watching it. You've got Brent and you've got Tamara. And in Married at First Sight, you have a group of people that are married the first time that they meet. And they try to work it out because these are people who want to be married by a certain age for whatever reason. So Brent has been paired up with Tamara. And Brent is he's five foot eight, which is average. Um, but if you compare him to the other men uh, in the cast, they're much taller. So that is why I was thinking his um, attitude towards Tamara and, you know, the way he's overbearing and how he's so sensitive had something to do with his height. Not as an individual. Outside that house, he probably would be okay. But inside the house, you know, we have this thing about tall, dark and handsome. It sends this narrative to people who might feel insecure about their height. So that was um, what prompted me to do this video, because um, the facilitators were saying, apparently Tamara did a video and she was harping on about the type of job a man does and what he um what he must wear and the kind of car he drives and I guess when you're doing these videos you're just being materialistic you're just saying you're ideal and I don't think she expected it to come over the way it did it didn't come over very well because it did make her look very superficial so when um, the facilitators said to her um, so does Brent measure up and she kind of thought about it and said I don't know. So he had already been bigging up the relationship. So he felt embarrassed. And I think he felt resentful. And that resentful came out until it didn't work out too well. So, um, like I said, um, he is taller than her. Um, he's five foot eight. She's five foot four. But compared to the other guys, he would be considered the shortest of the group. So um, when the cast gets together for dinner, Brent does seem shorter, and which made me wonder if he felt insecure about that. Um, I think, and why I say that, he started to get very, very sensitive no matter what she said. He took it personally. He took it as though she was putting him down. If she said, turn down the TV, please, it's too loud. He took her as, you know, her dictating to him. If she said, like, if he was saying he is tired and she said, oh, you know, why don't you go to bed? He took it as her giving him orders. And it was almost like because she had said that she wasn't sure whether he measured up. And that if you've got an innate insecurity about your height, that could exacerbate it. So what I was thinking is that maybe um, the fact that she said um, she wasn't sure if he measured up, he could take that to mean his height is included. That's just my thoughts and my observations because his behaviour was quite obsessive and that is that will prevent a healthy relationship from developing. He would go away and come back because she was a very beautiful woman, but he just couldn't get past the fact that she said he doesn't measure up. And the thing is, is that when you're in a new relationship, you don't know. And some people have this thing about honesty, honesty. I've got to be honest. I've got to be honest. You don't have to be honest in that way if it's going to hurt someone's feelings. And OK, by her saying she doesn't know, would it have been better for her to say, I do know when really she doesn't? know whether or not and sometimes it had nothing to do with his height it's more to do with his personality she might have seen something in him that we only saw later that might have turned her off 
But, you know, sometimes you go into a relationship and you have the best of intentions and you like the person. You really do like the person. But then as time wears on, you notice things that are not very nice. You know, this bullish tactics, this intimidation, this aggressiveness. And when you're kind of questioning whether or not the relationship is going forward, you don't want to give that person false hope and say, yes, uh, it will go forward, when you know deep down in your heart that it may not because of that person's characteristics and behaviour. So I think, you know, with the shorter male, they call it the Napoleonic um, syndrome or the short the Napoleonic complex or the short man syndrome, um, some shorter men do overcompensate. They do come over as overbearing. They do come over as grandiose. They try to compete against other men. You see them at the gym pumping more than anyone else and, you know, and building up their muscles as though they need to prove that they are just as worthy as anyone else. And they are as worthy. But if something is in your head that's saying you're not, no pumping up of muscles or no reassurance is going to change that. That person would have to accept themselves the way they are and accept that they are good enough. But that, that it's easier said than done for the people who are going through that kind of dilemma. Um, what else did I want to say? The Napoleonic complex, the short man syndrome. This is where a man demonstrates overly aggressive and domineering social behaviour and then tends to exaggerate their profession, which carries the implication that the behaviour compensates for their physical shortcomings. So you'll find that the short, the short man, if he's got the short man syndrome, I should say, um, will say he does, he'll, he'll hype up his job or will hype up what he can do and will be more generous than, you know, than is necessary. So no amount of reassurance can validate someone suffering from the short man syndrome because it may be a psychologically complex character disorder. The Napoleonic complex refers to successful French military leader Napoleon Bonaparte, who was highly motivated and achieved greatness despite his height limitation of five foot six. So I'm not sure why, if Napoleon was successful despite his height, why the Napoleonic complex is used to describe a condition where a man feels inadequate. To me, that doesn't make sense. Um, because of his height and then tends to overcompensate with overbearing behaviour and aggression. Um, like I said, they're usually in constant competition with other men, especially at the gym. Um, some sources say it's because a man is designed to protect a woman and if he is short, he may feel he has less opportunity to do so, which is probably why you see uh, many short men building up their muscles. Because if you think that, oh, you know, you're, you know, the image of a man is tall, dark and handsome or, you know, a big man who's going to sweep you off your feet, and that's how um, the media has kind of um, promoted the image of the ideal man. And so when men are short, they might feel that they can't sweep that woman off her feet. They can't lift her up if she's bigger than them. And so maybe that's why they muscle up as well. Who knows? But they want to be that protective person. And so they overcompensate by being loud and bullish, thinking that is masculine, when it's actually very unattractive. Um, some short men even forbid their girlfriends and partners not to wear high heels because they don't want to exacerbate the height difference. Most women will say, I want a man who is tall, dark and handsome, which leads men to believe that taller men are more attractive. And surveys show that even in non-heterosexual couples, that is the case. But there's no logical explanation why height is a factor. Um, some women prefer not to date a man shorter than themselves. Some women don't mind. Um, so you may find in the dating scene, a short man may be more generous and grandiose. And if you intend to date someone who is shorter than you, 
um, or shorter than the average man or who feels shorter compared to other men because it's all relative, um, don't mention their height. Uh, be sensitive. Don't say, I normally date men. I don't normally date men shorter than me. I wish you were taller. My last partner was, my ideal partner is tall, dark and handsome. Height doesn't have to come into it. Be sensitive about protected characteristics. Protected characteristics are those characteristics that people cannot change, like race, like religion, like disability, like gender. Well, they can change your gender. But it's about those things that you're born with, that there's nothing you can do about. So be sensitive when you're around people of what you say about any of those characteristics that could cause offence or make them feel insecure or unworthy or less than. There is nothing they can do about their height, so you may find that they overcompensate, feel a little insecure, they compare themselves with other men, and they demonstrate indirect aggression. If a shorter man happens to be watching this video, focus on your positive attributes and characteristics, make a list of all the things you like about yourself that makes you unique, make fewer comparisons, don't compare yourself with other people. I mean, even with non-short men or with the average person regardless comparison making comparisons we've got about anything is the fuel for unhappiness and discontent people compare themselves oh i wish i had long hair like her oh, i wish i had short hair like her i wish i was white i wish i was black i wish i was dark i wish i was light i wish i had curly hair i wish i had straight hair I wish I had that person, you know, I wish I had the life of that person, I wish I had, you know, people are always comparing and all it does is cause discontent. Just be grateful for who you are, what you have, appreciate what you have, practice gratitude, um, challenge your thinking. Why am I thinking like this? Does it really matter? How important is it in the grand scheme of things? And practice most of all self-acceptance. You can't change who you are, you know, unless you start wearing um, four inch heels, you're still going to be the same height. So just practice self-acceptance and practice humility and being kind and being nice. You don't have to overcompensate. There is nothing worse than people who are bullish and overcompensate and who are overly aggressive and who are short tempered and who are defensive because of their own lack of self-acceptance. So just try to accept who you are, the way you are, and hopefully you'll find the woman of your dreams and women who date shorter men will be happy with the men of their choice because that man has evolved and learned a bit about himself and doesn't take things so personally. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.